up nice and early this morning. We're going to ride to downtown Phoenix and go on a ride with the Phoenix spokespeople. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to do a little interview with Bill from the Phoenix spokespeople, figure out what that organization is all about. Let's do it. from our house to Bicycle Nomads, 10 or 11 miles, give or take a mile or two. And then the ride itself will probably be yeah, roughly the same. It'll be about that back. So we're looking at 30 plus miles today, which I understand, airplane, which I understand isn't very much for some of you chumps, but I as a fat boy, you gotta listen for that train. Taking a bit of a new route to Bicycle Nomad this morning. AJ's taken it before. This is my first time. Look how close we are to the train track. Pretty sure if the train comes by, I'm gonna scoot over. We're getting pretty close. It's probably the most efficient ride down here we've taken yet. This new route's pretty good. Pretty much a straight line once we get a few blocks from our house. Starting to feel a few drops of rain, which is funny because I keep a poncho in my backpack. And I uh, thought about taking it out this morning, saving a little space for an extra bottle of water. Decided against it. Good call. All right, so who's ready for a bike ride? Yay! We'll double back and we'll take our break at Steel Indian School Park. Phoenix spokespeople are doing a bicycle overnight trip to Les Dutchman. That's gonna be next second Saturday. We're back at Bicycle Nomad. I got myself a hat and a sandwich. I love how the chips are just tossed on the sandwich. I'm gonna eat it that way. Hi, I'm Bill McComas. I'm with Phoenix Spokespeople. We are first a bicycle advocacy group that is here to make Phoenix a better place to ride a bike. Our goal is 8 to 80. We want your kids and your grandparents to be able to ride a bike in Phoenix safely on the streets with proper infrastructure. So that's kind of the main thing we're about. We go to the city council meetings, we go to budget hearings, we go to the community meetings regarding potential bike projects to raise voices in support of that. Um, we try to get people to come do these things with us and really make a, make a, a, a solid voice for better infrastructure in Phoenix and make us a better place to ride. Kind of secondary to that is doing events. Like today was the second Saturday ride. We do that, you can guess, every second Saturday of the month. And we do it in collaboration with Bicycle Nomad Cafe here at uh, Second Street in Garfield downtown. That's a social ride. We go for a casual pace, maybe 10, 12 miles an hour. Uh, no drop, so we'll go to the speed of the slowest person. October through May, when the weather's nice, we meet about eight o'clock, leave about nine. That way we have time for coffee and chit chat beforehand. Do 16, 18, maybe 20 miles. Uh, summer months, we start early, go shorter, and cut it down a little bit. Um, we're almost through our second year of Second Saturday Rides. Best place to get info on that is our Facebook page at Phoenix Spokespeople, or go to our website. The long address is phoenixspokespeople.org. The short address, psp.bike. So if you go to psp.bike, look for events. Um, second Saturday, it's, it's the same place every time. Same time, almost all the time. It's just a couple months in the summer, we shorten it. And then we do some other events throughout the year. You can see those events on our Facebook page. Uh, part of the goal for these rides is to get people out on bikes, get people used to riding on the street, in traffic, following the rules of the road. And hopefully we'll get more people to ride their bikes on their own to do things like go to work 
go to the grocery store, run errands, go to their friend's house, just do things they would do their, in their car but take their bike instead, instead of just using their bike to go on social rides. So the goal of these rides is A, fun, but it's also secondary, get more people involved in riding as a means of transportation, not just a hobby. And maybe we get a few advocates out of that too that want to get more involved with us and go to the meetings and actually speak up at these meetings and help get the infrastructure we need to make Phoenix the great place it should be to ride a bike. We have one of the flattest cities in the country. We have great weather eight, nine months a year, 12 months a year if you're hardy. Uh, we don't have snow, so we're, we should be a bike commuting mecca of the United States, and we're, we're not quite there yet. Thank you, Bill, from Phoenix Spokespeople for that info, and thank you, Eric, from Bicycle Nomad for the cork hat. Guys, if you're ever in Phoenix, be sure to check both of these guys out. And more importantly, if you're ever in town with your bike, be sure to look ahead and see if either of these guys are doing rides. They do all kinds of rides all the time, all over town, go camping. Come check them out. Wait, 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 wait. It's about 12 or 13 miles back to the house. It's a little bit warmer than it was when we left, but that's okay, because I have a hat. Do you know who doesn't have a hat? <laughs> so the first casualty of today is the top of AJ's head. The second casualty is my big water jug. It's developed a fault, it's been leaking. Third casualty of the day is my bike rack. One of the legs snapped. It's not going good. <laughs> but we have our health. It's leaking all over me. I think it's secret code. Well, that's the end of the first episode of Shark Vlog Number One. Uh, I'm tired because it's gotten much hotter out and I'm all out of water due to the leak in my jug. That's episode one of the bag. Peace out. Hey, I'm a shark with a top hat. And I think you should subscribe. Go ahead, hit the button. I'll wait. Okay, bye. <laughs>